Hi hey everyone, today we are going to solve the rhetorical question longest common prefix. Okay, so let me explain with this example flower, flow, right? So we have to find a common prefix, in this case, fl, fl, fl. So question is how? So there is a possibility that uh, we have 200 words as an input. So it's going to be tough uh, to check the common prefix uh, in the all words at the same time. So my strategy is very simple. So check one by one. So first of all, we use a flower and a flow and then create a longest common prefix. So in this case, flow, right? Then um, we use uh, this flow with flight. So um, in this case, uh, longest common prefix should be fl and fl, right? So that's why in the end, we can return fl in this case. So that is a basic idea. So next, let's demonstrate one by one. Okay, so first of all, create a prefix and we use a, a first string, in this case, flower. And the prefix length should be length of flower, in this case, that is six, right? And basically, we iterate through all words one by one from index one. So let's begin. So first of all, uh, we compare flower and flow. So condition is prefix is not equal a new string from index zero to prefix length. So in that case, uh, if this is a true, uh, we make a prefix short one by one. And uh, they are different, right? So that's why uh, 6 should be 5. And the prefix should be uh, we remove r, right? And then uh, again, uh, we compare flow and uh, this prefix. They are different, right? So in that case, we make prefix short. And that is 4 and uh, flow. So now uh, flow and the prefix is flow, so they are same, right? So that's why we move next. So now flow is a longest common prefix. And the next new word is flight. So let's compare. And the prefix is now flow. And the new word is flight. And we need a from index 0 to uh, prefix length. So the reason why we put the prefix length is that so between flower and flow, uh, we found the uh, flow as a longest common prefix, right? So that is a uh, length four. So that's why even if new word is coming, so definitely we don't have like a length five or length six uh, longest common prefix, right? So at the most, uh, we have uh, like a flow in this case. So that's why uh, in this case, we don't need uh, like an index five word or index six word. So that's why we put uh, prefix length here. So now, uh, flight, right? So uh, in Python, uh, we don't include this index. So that's why we uh, we will get uh, from index 0 to 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we get like this, so I don't know how to say, but uh, flow and uh, this one, so they are different, right? So that's why uh, we have to make prefix short. So 3 and uh, prefix is now flow. And then check again. So flow and uh, from zero to three. So that means we need a uh, from zero to two. So free. And then they are different, right? So let's make prefix short. So that is two. And uh, now prefix is fl. And then, um, so from zero to two, that means um, zero to one, so fl. So now they are same, right? So that's why um, among uh, these three, longest common prefix should be fl. And then move next. And uh, there is no word, right? So that's why uh, we should return fl in this case. And uh, one more important thing is that um, what if um, prefix reach zero? So for example, um, so let me change flow is like a, a, b, c. So in this case, um, uh, there's no common, right, uh, between flower and uh, ABC. So in that case, um, prefix length will reach um, zero. So in that case, uh, there is no uh, longest common prefix. So that's why immediately uh, we can return, um, in this case, uh, empty string. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a brief and uh, we use a first string, so index zero, and uh, brief length should be length of um, brief. 
and then、um, let's iterate through all words from index、uh, one. So for I put s in、uh, strings and、uh, from one to last. And then、uh, we use a one more loop. So I use a while loop. And、uh, brief is not equal. So new word and from index zero to brief length. So if we need a this condition, so let's make、um, prefix short. So brief and brief length is minus one. And then,、um, as I told you, if brief length reach zero. So in that case, we can immediately return empty string. If not the case,、um, we create a new prefix. So brief equal brief and、uh, From zero to、um, brief length, and then、uh, return brief. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of length of the first word or length of input array. I mean, number of words in the input array. So that's because、uh, when we reach zero, we can immediately return empty string. So there is a possibility that、uh, time should be length of the first word. Or、uh, if we go through all words,、uh, we、um, take a, a, like a length of input array. So that's why another possibility should be length of um, input uh, array. And the space complexity should be order of length of the first word, right?